Hey guys, uh, it's just a Riz. Thought I'd do another tutorial because my other ones uh, did pretty well, I think. So, yeah, so this one we're just going to be uh, linking the parameters of different uh, synths to one knob. So, like, say you want to link like the cutoff in Zeta to the cutoff in Massive, you want to all control them at the same time. So, this is the way I do it using control surface and then you just link all of them instead of automating one two three four five different uh, cutoffs filter cutoffs you just link them to one and then just automate this okay so yeah this is what this is the chords I got here So, yeah. Okay, so what I did was, so first of all, you have a, I have a bunch of synths here. This one, this one. So a massive Zeta, Citrus, uh, Silent, and GMS. So I got five synths here, and they're all a little bit different in their cutoff. So if I just play the Zeta 2 sounds like this. So that's where that one starts. So they're all a little different, right? Uh, next one, let's see what Massive is. I have a macro here. Oh, it's X. So the point is, um, for one, like for citrus, uh, at zero, then it's like nothing. Like the synth is really low, and then. As you go up, it gets louder, or it opens up until it's 100%. But in other synths, it doesn't work that way. Like in Zeta, if I open it up and play it, start increasing it. At halfway, that's like the maximum, and then nothing. So, but when I, since I controlled it differently using control service and I link these all separately I control all of them and have them open up at the same rate instead of this one opening up you know when this one's uh, half and this control is well this one's at half it's not the same value you know like like Zeta is full right now like going full blast and the massive is is halfway. See? Oh, oops, sorry. Right, but I want them full at the same time. So, anyway, you do this, uh, to do this, in Zeta, since I, since I routed separate, uh, using, I'm using two filters, you can't, even though I have the link on, you can't, uh, if I link one of these to the control, it won't work. You have to link both. So what I do is just unlink and then link it. So uh, I move the control tools last tweaked link to controller. So I already have it linked. So what I did here was see so it says input times 0.5. So I'm not going just the default which is one to one. I chose smaller increment and that way 
it's only going from zero to 50%, which is what I want to go to. I want this to go to this right here. This I want this to, to, to be the maximum. So go accept. And now when I move this control, I'm at half and it's halfway to, uh, to full. And as I go full, then it's half. Do you see what I'm, right? And I do the same with this one. Okay, so I did the same thing. All I did was smaller increment, except so now, now they're both synced up. Okay, and it's basically you have to fiddle with the settings sometimes because uh, they're not always that nice where they're half. I mean, if you make your own sounds, which I did, but um, I didn't want to tweak it in the synth. I was lazy or whatever, so now I have to link it in a funny way. So if I go here to the cutoff, I should name that. Okay. Now I go to last tweet. Link to controller. So that one is good as it is. I just full. Uh, this one is also full, I remember, but the silent one is a weird one. So here's the cutoff. So yeah, this one, uh, I wanted it to start at a certain value and end at a certain value. So, and I didn't want it to end full. So I had to go plus 0 0.35. That means it starts, you know, 35% of the way. So I'll just play this one. I'll just go accept because I already filled with it. So as I turn it, see like right now it's like 35% of the way. As I turn it up, it goes up. But when I'm at full, then it's not quite at, at the top. And I made it like that on purpose. Okay. So, and basically, I mean, you have to fiddle with this point. Because if I do this, this is where I want to start. If I were to have started zero, It would be this, which is way too low. I wanted it to start somewhere here. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. So, whatever value you want it to start at, uh, that's the value that you put, that you add to it. So, link to controller. So, 0 0.35. I fiddled with it a little bit. All right, so now I got the right value there. Okay, and same with this one. I did it a little differently. Or I might have done the same. Let's see. Last tweet. Okay, so I wanted it to go up to full, so I increased what I was multiplying it by, but kept it at the same start point. So let's see how that worked out. Okay. Okay. So it's basically it. So now I can control all these synths and have them at the right values at the right time from one knob.
that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.